what's up? I'm Atia Babcock and I'm here to talk to you about long trotting. Now I hated long trotting. Uh, when I first started it, I thought it wasn't fun and it, I don't know, it just felt like a waste of time. And, um, but I committed to doing it uh, with um, all my horses every time I rode them. And uh, some of the benefits I started noticing was my, my horses were softer in the canter, they were more relaxed. Um, and uh, I was just having really great results in getting them softer. And using it as a warm up helped me uh, get my horse in the right frame of mind faster. And so that's why I really like long trotting now. And don't get me wrong, I love a little sugar foot jog, but um, it's good to have both. Uh, within each gate, we have three speeds, uh, slow, medium, fast. And so um, this exercise that I'm gonna show you today um, is gonna focus on the slow and the fast. And you're just looking to get a big difference between the two. Um, so with this, you will long trot down the long sides and slow trot on the short ends of the arena. Um, and when I go to long trot, I'm gonna sit, sit forward, lean forward just a little bit and hold on to my horn. Obviously, I don't wanna lean forward and not be a hold of some, have a hold of the horn because uh, that puts me in a bad position. And I'll use that as kind of my cue to long trot. I'll get up off their back a little bit, run my rein up their neck, and that's my cue for that. Then when I get to the corner, I'm gonna start sitting down, posting, and I'm gonna try to bring my focus up and think about bringing my horse's energy up. Instead of that long and flat, which is what we're wanting for the long trot, we wanna think about picking that energy up and bringing, collecting it up underneath us. Now you can use your reins for this if you need to, uh, like I am with Ember, but your ultimate goal is to be able to do this on a loose rein, be able to long trot your horse and then just sit back, um, shift your weight back, relax, and have your horse settle into a nice slow trot. Now your horse may canter or they may walk uh, when you're working on either, either end of this. And um, now if they walk, you're just gonna, you can tap them with a crop, get them trotting again. Now if they canter, what you're gonna do is you're gonna slowly bend them around and yield their hindquarters all the way around and then trot off again. That way you have a way to correct your horse if they canter, because we're not wanting any canter for this exercise. So, um, you know, if your horse is, you find your horse is cantering, that means you're pushing the envelope enough to get your horse to explore those other options. That's actually a good thing. You just want to make sure that they understand that that's not the goal of the exercise. So that's why you'll bring them down, do that high quarter yield, um, and uh, get them refocused on that trotting. And that way I can just, you know, stand, sit forward just a little bit and cluck to my horse several times and have them go into a long trot and never have that thought of like, oh, I should be cantering. Uh, it makes it very clear to your horse. Well, I hope you had like this exercise. Give it a try with your horses. I guarantee you it will uh, make your horses softer and more relaxed at a canter. Uh, until next time, keep it simple and keep it savvy.